guided reading and this is now lesson 22. So if you remember in the last part of the book of Cole's Kingdom, Cole had a lot of questions. He was falling asleep and he was wondering why had the king offered him that magical fruit and now it seems the king is a, a bad guy. So he's got a lot of questions but he's the next day, so he was falling asleep, the twins are going to take him back to the portal to come back to our world. I don't think that's going to happen because that will be the end of the story and it seems like things are just starting. So we're now on chapter five and it's called the empty well. Remember the well is where the magic should be. Usually a well is where water is but in this place it's magic and there's the seal of Thurlin that Cole gave to the king. Cole was awoken by a clanging bell. So clanging, someone's ringing a bell. Surely it wasn't time for school yet. His sleep-filled mind was shaking off images from the strangest dream. Kings, magic, talking wolves and kidnap. It took him a moment to remember where he was. The fire in the hearth had died down to embers but smoke lingered in the air. That's a nice sentence. Smoke lingered in the air. So even though the fire had died down, the fire was gone, the smoke lingered in the air. As Cole threw off the colourful rugs that were piled on top of him, he was hit by the hot morning air. Cole's Darien hosts, so the hosts are the people that are looking after him, the family, grumbled as they wriggled out of their bed covers and pulled on their day clothes. Good morning, Cole, Yogna murmured. Uh, hi. Cole replied, still not quite sure that this was in fact real. The bell was ringing. It sounded like it was coming from somewhere a few streets away. Kids, King Enk's envoys are on the way. An envoy, if you are someone important like a king or a queen and you send people to do a job for you, they are your envoys. Yognar explained, pulling on straw sandals. We have to go to the town square to hear the message. Here, Cole, put this on, and these, and wrap this around you. They should keep you hidden. Hidden, Cole asked, confused. Absolutely hidden, she replied. King Enk sent you back to the portal. If he or any of his servants see that you're still here, he'll want to know why. Mum's right, yawned Piog. Who in their right mind would choose this place over Alpha? It's very suspicious. Wearing old boots that were too big, a straw hat and a thick orange rug that Yognor tied around his shoulders like a cloak, Cole set out with her and the twins into the middle of town. The morning sun beat down on them as they traipsed blearily down the... So traipse is kind of like walk in a very tired manner. And blearily, again, often means tired because you've got your eyes closed, half closed down the shabby street. Shabby, it's the opposite of expensive and luxurious. Staining the cobblestones orange pink. It was strangely quiet. No wind blew and no birds sang and Cole was starting to see what having no reasons, seasons, must mean for the people of Ferlin. Members of the town were stumbling out of doorways and shuffling what must have been a familiar route towards the town square. Let's take a look at this extract. It took him a moment to remember where he was. The fire in the hearth had died down to embers, but smoke lingered in the air as Cole threw off the colourful rugs that were piled on top of him. He was hit by the hot morning air. How else could the author say smoke lingered in the air? Think about this. You might need to look up the word linger. How else could he, the author, write this? Press pause and then write me a sentence of how else you could say this. Welcome back. Linger. Linger is like hanging around, waiting. So you could say the smoke stayed in the air. Or the smoke hung in the air. Or the smoke still filled the air. There's something about lingered that means to stay, to keep on being somewhere. Find a synonym for walked. So you've got this extract, press pause 
and then we'll go through it together and we'll look for a synonym, a word, which means walked. Okay, welcome back. So wearing old boots that were too big, a straw hat and a thick orange rug that Yognar tied around his shoulders like a cloak. Call set out. Set out could be kind of that with her and the twins into the middle of town. The morning sun beat down on them as they traipsed. Now that's what I was thinking of when I wrote this question. Set out is more to begin, to start. Now if this was a set sats question, they probably wouldn't have asked about this because they would be worried you'd get confused with set out, which means to start out. I'm going to allow this, if you have put it, but really I was after traips, which is to walk in a tired way. Um, let's see. Now stumbling is another kind of form of walking and shuffling. So you've got a few examples there of what synonyms of a type of walking. Thanks for taking part in this lesson and I will see you next time for lesson 20.